Okay, my name is uh, Hamid Sani Yusuf. I am uh, I live here in Abuja at uh, Waripa. Uh, uh, my business name is uh, AC Investment Limited. We are into information and communication technology. Okay, my name is um, with me Alexander, also known as Mercy Ali. Um, I'm a resplendent tutor, CEO of this business. And although it's not registered yet, and I've found out so many loopholes so far um, since I came for this training, I discovered okay, um, I need to register my business, I need to work digitally more than even the physical aspect of advertising, even you know, on the face marks and the clothing, and maybe through WhatsApp alone. So I've discovered other platforms to which I can advertise on. So more or less, I've learned a whole lot since I came here and I'm always eager to learn. So coming here was mind-blowing and an eye-opener. I'm calling Otuawe, by the grace of God, I'm the owner of PDS Global Resources. We're into security, device, elevator, car tracker and others. So I was invited to this uh, two days uh, business process workshop and I've learned a lot from this two days workshop. I've been able to know how to to take my business more into digital level and meet more friends. The resources persons they are they are okay. They tried. We were able to introduce us to a lot of things. So, mm -hmm. yes. Before I came to this uh, workshop, the challenge is well, apart from patronage, the awareness. Most people feel that security is too expensive. You understand? Know but now we're able to know that yes, if you take the visa, you, able, you can educate the people about security. My name is Abu Bakari Aya from Lower Multimedia. I Lower Multimedia is a TV content provider that provide uh, content to some. Uh, TV stations like Ario 24, Foreign Water, and many others. But we specialize in doing things like a program that has to do with culture and tradition and uh, environmental issues. But we mostly do program on that has to do with environmental issues like afforestation, deforestation, and gratification. That's what we specialize on now. Hi, my name is Salusi Lawa. I operate a technical service company, Sansi Technical Service. That is my company name. I do electrical engineering. I do most of uh, buildings, estates, uh, hotels, maintenance services and installations and uh, 
I do inst installation, electrical installations, probably such as new installation, wearing, new wearing, services render like maintenance. You call us for maintenance if you have any challenges. We have repairs. We also partake in doing that. We also do new installations such as skycrapers. You call us, you have probably, maybe you say you have a 10 story building to build. We do an electrical service render. We do transformer installation scratch. And then we do solar installation inverter solar installation probably you have you know in nigeria we have challenges of power if you need to install if you need to install solar power energy we provide such services we also provide satellite services in your homes your hotels your company we do such okay my name is miss so I'm the CEO of Fenny Collections. I deal on bead making. I'm a professional bidder, so we make beads mostly for jewelry, not Vajor jewelry. So that's what I deal on. Uh, my name is uh, Jamil Osman Yasin. I'm the director of operation of Yasin Global Travels and Tours. My traveling agency engage in uh, ticketing of uh, both local and international flights and we also engage in Aja and Umrah services, logistics services and uh, car hire services. Okay, my name is Laura McLeo, uh, I'm into fashion design and um, uh, like I say I'm a consultant. I believe uh, every human being should be able to follow their passion in life. Now, if your passion is to do something, you first of all discover what you want to do by discovering yourself, then you discover the business you want to go into. Now, I went into fashion because I like good clothes, I like good things, I like looking good the little way I can, and uh, I'm building up gradually. My name is Elizabeth Wilton Waddell. I'm into general uh, services. My name is Daphne Mio. Um, I'm with Broadtech Communications Company. Um, we are basically into ICTs and home automation, security, surveillance. You know, everybody will tell you fund. That's number one reason in uh, any business you want to set up. But I wouldn't say that's that. I would say the challenge is as patronage, getting customers and clients. Because uh, in fashion designing, you realize that when you have clients to patronize you, you can as well use their money to start. You mustn't buy and sell to get people to buy whatever it is you're selling. You can get a customer to discern what he wanted to do or what he wanted you to do and as well fund you to do that. The money part payment is going to pay you, you can use it to enter the market, buy the material and get those done. I'm into unisex clothing, traditional clothing. So I wouldn't say it's funding, because even if you get the phone, you buy the materials you keep, what if that material is not the type your client wants, you have to enter the market again to start afresh. So to be on the safe side, I think if you get as many clients as you want, it's either they get their materials for you to design for them or they send you to the market to bring the samples available. You take it up from there. So the major challenge is getting the clients. Uh, besides that, I face challenges. I face challenges is how I can market my product. Those are the challenges I'm facing. Uh, basically, the challenges I am actually I'm actually facing in my business is the uh, financial aspect of it. That's the the resource of how to probably uh, move my business higher. 
than where I am like this now. And I've actually made some uh, move based on how to get uh, soft low from various banks and they probably uh, this uh, current COVID-19 law going on from the federal government which is on, actually on process now though I've not been I've not gotten any approval from the from the loan so far but I'm working towards it how to probably got the loan and improve more on my business. My challenge is number one is uh, I need more capital to boost my program and secondly uh, is to be able to make uh, the society know the functions of what we are doing because sometimes it's, it's only when you're, you get general acceptability from the society before you can be able to make something tangible. If the society don't know the importance of what you are doing, especially things like organizations and government, so your progress will be limited to a particular area. That is the challenges I'm facing. Capital and general acceptability from government, organization, and even the society. The challenges I've faced in my business, um, it's having to get people that come along and not complain, and not complain that, uh, uh, that the money is too much. So uh, more or less, uh, people get tutors, but are not, those tutors don't render the services they need. They more or less just want to get a tutor because of the tutor's name and trying to rectify a problem. But in rectifying problems, you need to go beyond the normal where you, some people just focus on maybe teaching maths and teaching English, but it goes beyond that. It goes to the era of uh, uh, is it getting to know the problems that the, the pupils are facing and whatever issues that needs to be rectified. So I've, I've discovered the weaknesses that people are going through. When you go to families, I go to families to go and ask specifically. I try to find out the issues or the problems that the child is going through and list them out for the parents to discover or find out, okay, this is what your child needs and this is what your child needs. And you don't need to hire me or get my attention. You can get of other tutors to rectify this problem and so they tend to delve into other places where they can get cheap tutors around them and they can just get somebody on the roadside who is looking for money so i experienced that when i was little i my parents got a tutor for me that didn't rectify the problem that needed to be rectified and so that is one of the things i'm trying to work against so the challenge now is trying to convince um, people that patronize me that okay the reason my uh, was the services I render is different from the roadside tutors and you can get tutors as many as you can but they won't rectify the problem you're trying to resolve so the money the what of the money the what of the services being rendered the um, getting customers within the vicinity because I've, I've not I'm just within Abuja and to go to other states and countries we need online tutoring so i've discovered okay i need so many i need to be more digitalized to be able to meet a wider verse of crowd my my challenge that i face my i've been facing all this year but um, my business is mostly online i don't have a i don't have a physical shop so my business is mostly online so i face the business of prices People like compare my prices to the market price, not knowing about like, not knowing the, not seeing the uniqueness of the bridge. So people compare the prices to the market price, and you know, in the markets, in the markets, they can use anything to do your beaded jewelry. They can just do anything. So far, you just give them the money, they'll do it. For me, I choose to be unique, like choose my materials carefully. So people like they have a problem with the price. Always saying that it's expensive, but you're looking at what I'm presenting to you because when you look at it, you know that the worth is far more than whatever you can buy in the market. And also coming to the main matter of um, audience, targeting the right audience online because yeah, my shop my shop is online, so to target the right audience is what I really need to you know that we're facing the challenge I'm facing all these years. The basic challenges that we are facing, um, most of the times are. 
the, the, the materials that we use for you to actually get the quality ones that you need you you, you are forced to import because um, the common ones we get around are of not the high quality ones not the high end ones and you have high end customers that need those high end ones you 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 you, you don't get them easily here yeah, you, you you mostly import so those are some of the challenges that we have then um, sometimes uh, the, 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 the the time frame people want to people people want you to to, to, to provide services that is supposed to be uh, 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 within a certain time frame which you are supposed to have a, a reasonable time for you to actually uh, accomplish that but because they want they feel okay after giving you their money they want you to deliver within the shortest term as soon as possible one thing i learned is uh, you don't really need to have a one-on-one -on -one basis you can like the IT personnel mentioned you can open a site put in the things you do there upload it there and get as far and wide people to get up to you there are some persons that can send you to do something for them and send it to them no matter their location so one is you can reach out to people online of which they give us some applications to download which they are even willing to mentor us one-on-one -on -one to ensure the business is well built. Another thing is, uh, I mentioned mentorship earlier on, consultancy earlier on. I met a lady that is into the educational consultancy and she went ahead to elaborate a whole lot of things. She also made me to understand that if you know what you want to do for yourself, you need to streamline, you need to be an expert in whatever it is. And not only that, you need to be the best amongst the rest that will attract clients to you. So with that, I appreciate her for having time to talk to me and exchange contacts. She also agreed on continuity and the IT person has already said they are willing to mentor us one on one basis, follow up to ensure that the small business we are building tend to grow someday or will not just remain as a petty business tends to grow as time goes on. So I appreciate the two days training. Well, I've actually learned a lot of things. Some of the things I was really looking at, I was taking for granted and, and, and I, I, I can reposition myself and, and, and face some of the challenges that I feel, the, some of the things that I felt they were challenges. But with, with, with this workshop now, I, I, can, I can be able to face those challenges squarely without uh, much stress. Honestly, I learned a lot of new business ideologies. Started from uh, Mrs. Miri Makoju Allah and one Madam uh, uh, Chioma. They really busted my brain and made me see what I'm actually missing and what I need to do to step up my games. I think uh, I will have to give it up to the organizer of the program. It's such a laudable initiative. Um, I've, I've learned to package my business more. So I need to package it digitally and not just by word of mouth and having to convince people, going to their houses to convince them. So I need to package more. I need to um, what's the name? put my business in the open, online. And so yes, and I know as time goes on, I'll still they'll build on us. So I'm really looking forward to it. We are taught to be vast. You don't, the technique is that you are not only you, you have to move out from your comfort zone. You can be here in Nigeria, Abuja and precisely, and service, since you are into, I'm into servicing, I can also render value services to somebody in Ghana 
all over the world. I learned that from this uh, from this program now, I can be able to digitalize my my, my my program, and I can boost on boost on that is the people that that is the, uh, my awareness. I will create awareness through this program I'm into now. This um, training, it's a very good training because you can do things for yourself. You don't have to like travel to, I mean, you don't have to like travel out to go get your thing, go get things. But um, my advice is that this training is very good because it's, it will help people, especially during this economy situation that we're all facing in Nigeria. You know, um, having your own business and creating jobs for people is very, very good. Um, I they actually figured out my challenges and also told me a way to go about it by afflicting myself and also do a lot of ad that I've by using my Facebook ad, advert and Instagram advert and also to seek professional help because those adverts are not things that you can just do on your own. You need to reach out to professionals to help you to able to help to make you be able to reach out to those targeted audience and be able to sell your products too. Yeah sure I think I learned a lot because uh, basically yesterday when I was there uh, a wise saying says an Iduma the devil workshop so basically i've learned a lot of things when i come here how to probably uh, improve how to go, uh, move your business higher how to create more environment for people to come in and then probably uh, uh, venture into your business and then patronize you better than i know before no precisely i can tell you a tango by coming to this workshop and I learn a lot I can even tell you that uh, even before this workshop I feel like uh, I'm just staying at home you know I do without understanding how do I advance my product but when I came to this workshop I learn a lot those are my challenges how do I market my product how do somebody from other area to understand that somebody like this offer these services. Somebody like this company, Sansi Technical Service, offer these services. Three major services I, I mentioned. So I hope with this workshop, I can try, I, 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 I can be able to learn a lot. Honestly, I have to say, people, those who didn't attend this program, they really miss out because this kind of program will expose you to a lot of business ideas from the background you are coming from as a business person. Uh, as we all know, the world is going digital. And uh, from this program, I got to understand that there is a lot of uh, IT trends that is expected to be integrated to businesses. So for people that are really left out in this kind of, they are really missing a lot. They've missed a lot. And I will advise them to be part of the next coming one subsequently. Even though our Nigerian people, they like foreign things. They like foreign things. They believe in it things it, they believe that things have to come from America or London before they can purchase it. The one that Nigerian is making is not comfortable for them. But if they can put their heart, if they can put their mind towards building up Nigeria, it will be good for the Nigerian people. Well, I will, I will actually encourage uh, some of most of them to go out for seminars like this it will actually broaden your horizon when it comes to uh, to know how to relate with your customers and to know how to to to, to move your business forward you know so i will encourage most business people to to go for seminars like this it will it will help them to build 
their businesses in a better and more of a modernized way. Uh, I think it's a, it's a very, it's an awesome thing for me to have been part of this seminar. I feel I've actually achieved a lot. You know, I've told them they missed because uh, information they say is power. And what I know for today, the contacts I got, and the time well spent, and uh, the people I met, they didn't meet it. So I'll say they missed. Yeah, the experience, that's the contact I got because the contact elaborated everything. The contact even gave me a soft ground to land on. So, what other businesses they should, they should come and make their, 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 their market in, into digital form now? Because nothing is analog now. Everything now is digital. If you, if like this program now, with this program now, you can boost on your, your, your business to make it advance.